finish line seemed so far away. Until it wasn't. Remember when there were runners all around you, and then there weren't. Remember just when you thought you couldn't go any faster, and then you did. 123.ie is a proud sponsor of Athletics Ireland, because Irish athletes always try for better, and they always bring us moments to remember.
quite a lot of volume. So it would be better to check that the data the next door.
Good afternoon and you are very welcome to the 123.ie National Senior Indoor Championships here for, in the National Indoor Arena in Abbotstown. It's going to be all go here this afternoon with so many track and of course field finals. We have 17 in total today. We've already seen one which was the women's long jump and what a competition it was. Elizabeth Ndidi of Dundrum South Dublin getting the win jumping 6 metres and 28 centimetres in the final round to edge Ruby Mie on Kim back. What a performance that was for both athletes putting each other in. And of course Lauren Callahan of Finn Valley is taking bronze. Our pole vaulters are just being introduced to the crowd and we've got the women's shot put also underway in the field. And our first track final of the afternoon is going to be the women's 3,000 meters. So the favourites there, Matthew Callum Keenan gets introduced to the crowd. Then he pushed on away by Michael Bowler. But the women's are lining up now for the 3,000 metre final. Line up for this, Danielle Donegan, UCD AC, Cheryl Nolan, St. Abbott's AC, Michelle Finn, Lee Vale AC, Joanna Mills, Newcastle and District, Neve Codine, Nunea Olympic, Emily Grennan, Tullamore Harriers, Fiona Everett, Bandon AC, Kara Wilson, DMP AC, Eva Maher, Dundrum St. Dublin AC, Neve Carney, Rahini Shamrock AC, Hannah Keogh, Kilkenny City Harriers, Sinead O'Connor, Neve Vale AC, and Greta Stramakita, Clonliffe Harriers. Finn and Cardi, probably the favourites for this. They're underway anyway. Finn has never won a national indoor title. She's won 10 outdoors in the 3,000 metre steeplechase. So we're looking for more of the same this year. It's also run some very impressive 1500 times, so it's in good shape. But it is Michelle Finn who's taking them out through the first 200. They're around 38, 39 seconds. Cardi sitting in second there, and Cheryl Nolan of St. Davids in third. Being coached there by Phelan Kelly of the Dublin Track Club. Dan 
Tanya Aldonigan, who was Ireland's top finisher at the European Under-23 Championships over cross-country and terrain in December. He's in fourth. And another Neville Vest there, Sinead O'Connor in fifth. So Finn takes it through 400 in 119. Number of these athletes featured in the Arba International 3K a couple of weeks ago, including Neve Cardi, Kara Wilson, DMP, and Fiona Everard, all around in that race. Fiona Everard, of course, took the National Novice title last December in Cotta in Cork. It's Finn who's taking the night still. Changes Michelle Finn from Neve Cardi, Cheryl Nolan, Daniel Donegan, Sinead O'Connor, and Fiona Everard. Also, there, Kara Wilson, Hannah Kyo, Greta Strebakaita, Rio 2016 and Tokyo 2020 Paralympic, Paralympian. Come up to the K mark. And then go through the K in 317. So around 950 pace, so nothing at all special from these ladies, but national honors on the line today. I don't think they'll really particularly care what time they run it in. But you can just see it maybe has perhaps got a little bit quicker. Maybe a couple of gaps starting to develop at the back there from the athletes, six and seventh, Wilson and but maybe that gap started to close. So still Michelle Finn. And Neil Cardi. Sean Nolan and Daniel Donegan. Here, Phelan Kelly telling Michelle Finn to move, and perhaps the pace will really begin to gradually pick up now. Still, Michelle Finn, Dave Carney, Cheryl Nolan, Sinead O'Connor, Daniel Donegan, they're your top five. Fiona Everard, just a gap of a meter or two developing, and then maybe five meters back to Hannah Kyo, the Kelly City Harriers. We compete at the European Junior Cross Country Championships in December. But they've really got away now, so the pace has definitely increased. The group has been whittled down to six. Finn, Cardi, and Nolan, two, three meters to Sinead O'Connor. Fiona Everett slightly start to fall off that group, maybe. Danielle Donegan there as well. And now maybe a gap, to, a three, four meter gap developing between Nolan and O'Connor. Looks like we could have a breakaway three who could be the medalists. But only time will tell. Michelle Finn, Neve Carney, Cheryl Nolan. Got to go back maybe 10, 5, 10 metres to Sinead O'Connor and Fiona Everett and Daniel Donegan. Mm -hmm. 
but fed really motoring down the back straight there as I said she begins on her first national indoor title I believe it could be a first for Liam Carney as well were she to win it so they're 620 so they really have it through they really have tried up that's a much quicker kilometer there from those ladies we're scrubbing at 317 second kilometer 303 the pace is really picked up and is Sharon Nolan struggling to stay on it now I thought she might have been for a second but she seems to have got herself back on to the group there Finn who is still all the running leads the way as they come up this time with four laps to go 800 metres of running left and still three there Finn Cardi Cheryl Nolan very little separating these three just Finn looking behind over her shoulder there Cardi sitting on her shoulder looks poised to move and they're going to lap athletes are coming into traffic there so just making that a little bit more challenging they are going to have to go quite wide here to get around but they do manage to navigate that obstacle with three laps to go basically as it were Finn, Cardi, Nolan 500 metres to go real race at her hands over the last two and a half laps who has what it takes to come out on top today he will leave NAI with the gold medal in their back pocket two laps Finn goes again. She looks to be trying to put the boot down, but Cardi stays with her, and so does Nolan. Less than 300 to go now, and it is still Finn. And now does she go? Now does she go? Is she getting a meter or two? She might be, but Cardi is still there. And now as they come up to the bell, it goes again, she digs deep once more. Just she held in the legs to take this title. Sharon Nolan still there trying to desperately hang on to the Eve Cardi. Eve Cardi in second. But Michelle Finn, she's only got a meter or two on Cardi and nothing else. But now she goes again with a hundred meters, she kicks and she kicks strongly and she's left Liam Cardi for dead Sharon Nolan in second can Sharon Nolan come back at her but into the home straight now and it's between Finn and Cardi but it looks like Michelle Finn oh he got there it could have been Sharon Nolan in the end what a fantastic finish very hard for us to tell from up here head on into it as to who got there what a finish I thought Ben had done enough to take her first national title and Cheryl Nolan came back so strongly there and may just have got here we'll have to see 9.22.34 on the clock there it was Neve Cardi in third so another bronze medal for Neve Cardi in this event telling you bronze last year but we'll await results to come up on screen what a fantastic finish to that race there
No other fed who got there first. We'll see if find out. We'll see the replay here. Just see Michelle Fed had a beat or two. She's starting to it's really starting to bite up the whole straight and Nola just comes really strongly. And yeah, we're gonna have to wait for a full result there because that's very hard to tell. Just to mention that launch up again there. 6.28 was the winning jump from Elizabeth and Didi. And uh, Ruby Melee also jumped 6, 6.28, but it goes to Mie on countback. And I can confirm that Cheryl Nolan is your national 3,000 metre champion. Beating Michelle Finn by three three hundredths of a second. So Cheryl Nolan is your national champion by the narrowest of margins. Fantastic result for the St. Dabbins woman. The women's shot button is underway and we'll be back very shortly.
Good start, man.
Good afternoon and you are very welcome back to the 123.e National Senior Indoor Championships here in the Sport Ireland Indoor Arena in Abbotstown. We are just about to get underway in the women's 50 hundred metre final. Our second track final of the day. Earlier on we saw Cheryl Nolan with a fantastic women's 3000 metres. Cheryl from St. Davids, AC and Katie Leach getting her first ever National Senior medal. And first ever National Senior title. Fantastic achievement. And I know it was an emotional one for her. Um, so well designed. Congratulations, Cheryl. Um, we're moving on now to the senior women's 1500 meter final. Delighted for this. Maisie O'Sullivan, St. Dobbins, AC. Kirsty Foster, Winnerfield Harriers. Lucy Foster, Winnerfield Harriers. Carla Sweeney, Rath Farnham. Amy O'Donoghue, Dundrum, St. Dublin. Ellie Hartnett, UCD. Kelly Neely, City of Lisburn. Neve Morley Vale. Kate Nurse, CCD. Shona O'Brien, Cork Track. Fiona Kyo, Kilmore. Lauren Murphy Killies and Amy Wallace Mulligan. So we are underway in this one. And Amy Wallace leads them out, reinstated to into this final after an appeal. Carla Sweeney also in there as well. Last year's national senior champion on the track. Amy O'Donoghue with the colours of Dundrum, South Dublin. Her new club in second. Maisie O'Sullivan in fourth. And Shona O'Brien fifth with Fiona Kyo of Kilmore in there in sixth. So we see Amy Wallace, one of our Harriers, leading the bout. Going through 300 metres there in 53 seconds. From O'Donoghue and Sweeney. 
Ali Hartet just moving up there as well, keeping closer order on the field. But Wallace got about a five, six meter lead here and going through in 70 seconds through the 400. So the girls have worked to try and close and reel her in. That's how she were. She gets a nice pause. She comes down the home straight. Amy Wallace, Karen Sweeney, Amy O'Donoghue, Maisie O'Sullivan, Shona O'Brien, Fiona Kyo, Eddie Hartnett, all there. Number of former national medalists in this field, six years to the day since Fiona Kyo won her national senior 800 metre title. But it is Amy Wallace with quite a lead, 15, 20 metres at this point running really strongly and they really want to be making a move to try and make inroads on her now they want to catch her so it's still Amy Wallace as she goes down the back straight Carla Sweeney Maisie O'Sullivan Amy O'Donoghue Ali Harden Sean O'Brien and Fiona Kyo Field going through 800 and around 225. Amy Wallace would have been around 220 there or thereabouts. So, still Amy Wallace. Are they closing on her? They might slightly be. Kelly Neely had just stepped off there. But it's Wallace. Sweeney. O'Sullivan, O'Donoghue, O'Brien and Hart and Derek Kyo just start to fall off that pace there. But still Amy Wallace. Big lead and she'll come around there with 400 to go. Carla Sweeney is starting to close that gap with 400 to go. Amy O'Donoghue, third. Maisie O'Sullivan, fourth. Hart at fifth and O'Brien, sixth. But now, Carla Sweeney has moved into the lead and she really has made what could be a decisive move here. The Red Fire of Athletes pushed away. And will Amy Wallace get swallowed up? It looks like she might be. Amy Wallace and Eddie Hart beginning to move onto her shoulder. But Carla Sweeney takes the bell. The Red Fire of Athletes pulling further clear from the field. She's made her move to the quick proof decisive. As she kicks down the back straight. Amy O'Donoghue second. Ellie Harden third. Battling out for the minor medals. Maisie O'Sullivan's race looks run. Sean O'Brien trying to get back up there, but it doesn't look like she will. But it looks like Carla Sweeney is going to take this last title as she comes into the home straight. Gets a rapturous applause. And Carla Sweeney is her national champion. Amy O'Donoghue in second. Ellie Harden getting up for third. Sean O'Brien fourth. Maisie O'Sullivan fifth and Fiona Kyo in sixth. A great performance there for Carla Sweeney, her first national senior indoor title. Won the outdoor title last year. Added to the sea of bodies down in front of us. Amy O'Donoghue, John Judge right to South Dublin getting up for second. Really brave run there from Amy Wallace and Mullingar Harriers who did so much of that early work. It took its toll in the end as she crossed the line in seventh. <coughs> A fantastic performance by Carla Sweeney and she takes the congratulations of her fellow athletes.
And Carter Sweeney there, just being congratulated. To everybody else. See Michael Bowler dead there in the pole vault. We'll keep you up to date with that pole vault competition and all of the action in the field. First, we will take a moment to remember the late Tim Ahern. So the pole vault bar at 4 metres 25 as we await the final of the men's 1,500 metres coming up. So great win there by Carla Sweeney from Ruth Farnham in the women's race. Totally blew the field apart with 400 metres to go. So let's see. It's pretty open men's 1,500 metres. We just have the medal presentation there for the women's 1500 metres and Rory we're about to get on the way now in this men's 1500 metres what, what are you going to call? Yeah we are indeed well, it's, so, it's so open Fintan um, just look at the line up like I mean there's so many of these guys I actually reckon all of them will feel they're a shit of getting a medal um, Owen Pierce I suppose having won in 2019 will probably fancy his chances of winning the title again but it is really open um, yeah, to very hard to see from yesterday when they're running four minutes to qualify, not taking it out of any of them. Juan Ignacio Pena will be there or thereabouts, I suspect, as well. Um, Joe Warren, if it's a show ra slow race, it'll, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll be in the mix. And, and Philip Marin could be a, an outside uh, bet here, I think. 
So he couldn't really make Kieran Kelly either. He's been there so many times. Absolutely. Just see him barging his way through there at the start, not to get too mixed up in whatever. But as expected, Aaron Shorten from St. Lawrence O'Toole is going to take this out. They'll let, they'll let Aaron go and they'll try and reel him in later on. So Aaron, a 153, 800 meter athlete, really good juvenile, step it up now to 1500s. But it's Owen Pierce with Philip Marin leading the field out, and they're about 32, 33 seconds through the first 200. So they're they're it's it's not too fast, but it's not too slow at the minute. Yeah, Aaron taking it out as usual. He did it yesterday, and the guys did eventually reel him in, but managed to get through as a fastest loser. So how will he get on today? We'll soon see. So now, Juan Ignacio Pena takes it on they're going to close this gap pretty quickly it looks like on Aaron Short and Owen Pierce then in second place and then Kieran Kelly from Rohini Shamrock Philip Marin right there as well and then Kieran Sexton from Dublin City Harriers Joe Warren Michael Murphy then from Tullamore Harriers a year after a major heart operation One year great to, to the see day. him in the final fantastic to, to, see, him fantastic and to see Michael in the final nobody loves their athletics more than him you'd know him well from his DCU indeed connection. I watch him. he's a Reds captain of DCU and great to see him out here so now the field well bunched up together now Juan Ignacio Pena Kieran Sexton Owen Pierce, Kieran Kelly Philip Marin just tucked bunched in there a little bit then Michael Murphy is moved himself up into third place so we'll come round into the home straight still very early days so now Michael Murphy decides he's going to take it on from Tullamore Harriers and Juan Ignacio Pena sits on his shoulder his clubmate Kieran Kelly just on the outside and then Owen Pierce just tracking those guys now then Philip Marin you can see just on the outside covering the move by Owen Pierce. So 210, 209, 210 through 800 metres. So it's a decent pace being set. I'm going to be probably in the low 350s, I'd say, because it'll be a burn-up, Rory, I'd say, over this last 400 metres. Yeah, Murphy so. just got maybe two, three, four metres on it. What a dish of head out there. So since we're trying to stretch these guys out, let's see if it will pay off for him. So we can see the field is really well strung out there now. So this has been a nice move by Michael Murphy. 239 out of 1,000 metres. Juan Ignacio Pena in second place. Own Pierce tracks him. Kieran Kelly's going to fancy his chances. Philip Marin. And then we have Kieran Sexton and Joe Warren. And they're just beginning to open up a little bit of a gap over the rest of the field. They'll come up now. 400 metres to go. Michael Murphy, Pena, Owen Pierce. And then look on the outside here from Dublin City Harriers. Kieran Sexton putting himself right in the mix. He's going to make this long move from home. But it looks as though Owen Pierce is going to cover it. And here comes Kieran Kelly. And Philip Marin, 300 to go. So now Philip Marin's made his move. Kieran Kelly's covered that move. Owen Pierce is in third place. Joe Warren, four. Penna looks to be gone at this stage. There's three of them going to hit the bell together. Kieran Kelly from Philip Marin, from Owen Pierce. Joe Warren, four. Now Penna trying to make his way back. So will Kieran Kelly, he won his first national title at the indoors a few years ago. Is he going to be able to hold on for the last 100 metres? Owen Pierce had to go wide to try and come around the outside and now it looks as though Owen Pierce will have enough to take him on. Owen Pierce kicks him on. Philip Marin looks to come on under the shoulder in second place. Kieran Kelly, Penn maybe going to be third. But Owen Pierce going to take this. Owen Pierce from Clonic Harriers adds his second indoor title. Half a task for Forrest there for Owen Pierce. Made his move at the right time. Kick for home and it paid dividends. Fantastic to see him back after three, four years on there from his last national senior title. So the athletes we thought that were going to be in the mix were right there. They were battled the whole way right up that home straight. It looked as though Owen Pierce was in control. He took it easy enough then in the end. You can see there, it did take a bit of an effort out of him. 354 28. Philip Marin then 354 64 in second place he'll be delighted with that the whole red oak team will be happy with that and then Kieran Kelly hangs on for third place in 355 exactly so we can see here Rory coming into home straight no doubt who's going to win it here but it was whether Philip Marin could hold on and he easily did but the two Rohini men battled oh, yeah, it out fantastic battle for the bronze medal between the two um, you know great to see Kieran Kelly back there again so he holds on by six hundredths of a second from Pena, 
355.06 to 355.00 flat. So I was chatting to Noel Guiden about half an hour ago. He fancied Owen Pierce to do it today, and he's stood up and did exactly what was expected of him from his club. So we're at the very early stages of the women's high jump. Great tribute earlier on to one of the stalwarts of Irish athletics and the one of the main officials in high jump over the years in Tim Ahern, who sadly passed away last week. Very emotional for the team there. He would be a constant feature at every provincial juvenile to senior, every national juvenile to senior event. Never missed anything, so it was a lovely tribute to him earlier on. Let's see what the result on screen there. So it was on Pierce in 354.28 from Philip Marin of Rototh. And then Kieran Kelly in third. So back at the high jump bar, probably around. We'll try and see now when they swing the bar around. What height we're at. So we're just more than likely at 160 now at this point I'd say she went quite a brother Pierce's down there so Sharon Quinn now second goal so she I'd say the bar's at probably 160 there now, is it? Yeah, so she'll have two more attempts at 160. So here we have that medal presentation. So Owen Pierce gets up, gets his medal from Kevin Thompson, CEO of RSA, who own 123.ie, our Athletics Ireland main sponsors. So Kevin, a real athletics man member of Scary's AC. And then Paddy Marley, the Clonliffe Harriers stalwart. So Paddy will be a happy man there with Owen Pierce on the top of the podium. Yeah, I expected a good women's high jump competition there. Uh, Jamie Keeley from St. Albans looking to win. Uh, another national title for St. Albans today after Cheryl Nolan's fantastic performance earlier. Um, we've also got Kira Canelli in the field from Clarny Valley, Philip Rogan of Shlee Kulin, can't be discounted, of course, Ava Rush for the Olympics. So, um, a good strong field there and should be a good battle for the medals. Yeah, and a, and a very young field. Kira Canelli from Clarny Valley will feature as well Ava Rochford, who was fourth in the European under 18 high jump last year. So, Mid 170s high jumper. Yes, and of course, Kira only turning 21 yesterday. So, of course, I suppose a medal would be a nice birthday present. And then Philip Rogan will be very hard to beat from Schleek Hurlan, multiple indoor and outdoor national championships. And that is Ava Rochford. She was well over, but she just clipped it there with her feet coming down. She got a little bit of a scare. So very, very low height for her to be failing, but thankfully that bar stayed on. So she just moves her marker a little bit forward. Now, second attempt at 160 for Shuin Quinn from Brothers Pierce oh she's well clear that time good clearance there from Shoot. so that was a good response to our first time failure very easily over at 160 there 
So we can see the pole vault bars at 4.35 as we look at the run up for the triple jump. So that was Philip Casey from Aero Curacuil. Still very early stages. Just uh, just started the fourth round actually in the in the triple jump. Yes, Jay Benson, who I suppose is the favourite on paper going into it in the lead, along at Valley uh, with the best so far at four seventy nine. In second, it's Cuddle Bad of Tier Cuddle, fourteen and thirty four, and Michael Kent, still only fifty eight years of age from DMP AC in third at the moment with 12, 79, 69. So this is Aaron O'Connor in his fourth round jump. So his best has been 12.50 in the third round. So we can see the three different boards there, the 13, the 11 and the 9 metre board. It's a half piece of side. Yeah, at least decide which one they're going to go off. Which one you're more confident to make in the sand on. So about five minutes now to the women's 400 metres. We can see the athletes over there on the far side waiting to come in and get themselves set up. And hopefully we'll get a a great race between Sophie Becker and Phil Healy. I didn't think Kleena Manning was overly impressive yesterday, but we know the quality that she is as well. Yeah, I think yesterday was more of a case of getting through the two rounds, and now you're in the final, let's see what you can go out and do. I mean, we haven't seen too much of either Healy or Becker this season, in fact, yeah. they only started. So I do uh, think when they, when they break, it'll be Becker and Healy side by side, yeah. and it'll be who gets that inside first so it'll be a real I said it'll be a very very explosive first 200 meters to try and get that bend in the second lap on the inside mm -hmm. and just see down in the pole vault there Matthew Conlon Keenan clearing 435 so he's entered the competition last year's national senior indoor and outdoor champion so Matthew Callan Keenan former national outdoor champion Connor Callan not competing today who is actually even younger he's only under 19 I think Conor Callanan but seems to be out with maybe injury or whatever but pole vault has really come from strength to strength there's been a huge amount of um, extra expertise and a lot of clubs taking on this event and we can see beginning to see the, re the rewards here more and more athletes in the mid four, four metres and higher now so Michael Bowler now at four metres 35 Oh, and nice he easily done. clears that one. Yep, messed it up there by Michael. Himself, of course, a former national senior champion at the event. So I just looked down from the commentary box here, and you can see all these familiar faces making their way up as Gerald mm -hmm. Donnell and Jeremy Lee Lines. And then Dave McCarthy, our national 4x4 team coach looking on here so this this hopefully will be one of the finals of the day promises to be there's some great talents uh, don't be really daily having a very good season uh, Kuba Cronin's in her first national senior final Keita Manning is back so it should all be should be good so big PB by Kuba Cronin yesterday running around 55-34 I think it was bettering our previous PB of 55-70 to make our first national indoor senior final in our first year out of the junior ranks yeah we'll go through the full line up in lane 1 Leah Bergen Claude Harriers in lane 2 Quiva Cronin Lakela in lane 3 Miriam Daly Carragon Shore in lane 4 Clean the Manning Kilkenny City Harriers in lane 5 Phil Healy Bandit AC and in lane 6 Sophie Becker Rainy Shabrooks
So the strength we have now in women's 400 meters, you know, makes us want to nearly think that we could be making European and world finals now in the relay. And so, so much at stake for a lot of these so athletes to get on those squads. Mm -hmm. It's cutthroat to make it to these squads these days with the amount of depth we have, and it's a good complaint to have. So the athletes call to the marks. Women's 400 meter final. Again, Bergen in one, Cronin two, Daly three, Manning four, Healy five, and Becker in six. So where we go, final women's 400 meters. So it looks like Sophie Becker is probably the leader at the moment. So much more mechanical in her stride than Phil Healy. And then Cleena Manning's going to very, very hard here as well. But it's going to be Sophie Becker with a big lead. Cleena Manning maybe in second place. No, it's going to be Phil Healy in second. So they go through in 24 point, very low 24. So fast, first 200 metres by Sophie Becker. Phil Healy second, Cleana Manning third. Miriam Daly, she will come strong down that last 100 metres. So I expect Miriam Daly to feature in the medal hunt. But it's Sophie Becker from Phil Healy. The two of them just beginning to pull away from Cleana Manning and Miriam Daly in the battle for bronze. But Sophie Becker, she's led from the gun. Can Phil Healy come back at her? Phil Healy tries to go away, but Sophie Becker, she's maintaining that stride. She's going to hold on. She takes it. In 53.12, I think it is. Great performance there for Sylvie Becker. She won the national title on the outdoors last year, and she's now won the indoor title. So it was a real dominant display there, Rory. She took it from the gun, and... She did. She got to the break first, did what she had today, but then held on really strongly, um, Fantastic performance from the Ross woman in the colours of Brady Shabrocks. So Miriam Daly did in fact get up for third place there. 54-39 from Cleana Manning. 54-95. I didn't even get to look at them when they came across the line. But Sophie Becker, we can see here, coming into the home straight. She had that three or four metre lead over Phil Healy. And she maintained her form better than Healy up that last 50 metres. Then Miriam Daly finished very strongly to get third. So Cleena Manning four, very aggressive start by Cleena Manning. So she did try to put herself in the mix, and then I'd say that first. Yeah, she was really feeling it going around that final bend. Um, <laughs> Miriam Daly just showing that bit of strength in that last 100 meters. As I said, she won fit in uh, fantastic performance from her, and it's quite promising. You know, I know she's done a lot of work at the 400 hurdles down the years, um, but good flat, sp definitely very good flat, flat speed at the moment. So we can just see in the background, Sharon Quinn clears 165. I'd say, where are you at the high jump? Bar rattled, but it was a nice clearance. Actually, at 170. So Sharon Quinn, first time clearance at 170. Erin Diamond now from City of Lisbon. She'll have two more attempts at 170. We'll start to see a few more failures as the height gets higher. But I think in the next men's 400 meter final, I think we should expect Jack Raftery to win that one from lane six. Yeah, he's definitely the firm, firm favourite. Um, it's been a very good season for Jack, running under 47 seconds twice. Um, and speaking to him during the week, he's ready to unleash something big in the first lap. So 
watch when he goes through 200 in. And generally, he's quite a good finisher. Um, so we'll see if he can maintain in that second lap. So back at the triple jump, there was a red flag there. So no jump. Just over the high jump there, Kira Canelli over 170. First time clearance for Kira. McGrath now from Selbridge AC in his fifth attempt. His best jump has been 12.05. So the white flag I think has been raised, yeah. Shane Paranar from St. Joseph's, 4.35, third attempt in the pole vault. No, so not to be for Shane Parr. Back at the triple jump, Peter Casey from Aero Curaquil. This is the matter coming out now for this 400 metre final. Jack Raffrey, of course, as we were just saying, the firm favourite. really been a breakthrough 18 months for Jack Raftery getting himself on those mixed 4x4 relay teams and getting to major championships obviously competed at under 20 and under 23 level at major championships but it's when you get to these senior competitions and really, really he's really thrived and he's become one of our top 400 metre runners both indoors and outdoors yeah very much looking forward to seeing what he could do in the summer um in terms of this, that bullet would be very much touch and go for him, but we'll see what sort of a marker he can lay down today. So here we have the medal presentation at women's 400 metres. So Miriam Daly in third place. In second, we see Phil Healy gaining her medal. And then Sophie Becker, the national champion over 400 metres. And I'm just looking down to my right and I see who would I imagine, who I would imagine to be a very keen spectator for this men's 400. Uh, the one and only David Gillick is keeping close order down below us. So we can see there the medals being presented by Una May, the CEO of Sport Ireland. Right, Rory. So I think we're both going Jack Raftery on this one. What's your? Uh, yeah, in terms of the wider medals, I suppose. Kieran Carthy has had a very good season as well. You know, he's progressed quite a bit. Um, David Ryan did look good yesterday, but you know, it's so hard to call. It really is so hard to call. Yeah, and Owen Kenny finished very strong in the mm. semi-final yesterday. Got himself that spot in the final, and actually. Four of the athletes, PBs between 48.2 and 48.5, but indoor, so much different to outdoor athletics. Jack Rafferty with that 46.2 outdoor PB, 46.75 indoors. Uh, he'll be looking to try and better that. I'd say he's going to go hard from the start. Yeah, as he was saying this week, he really wants to unleash something big at that first lap. So Started out as a guy's career as an 800-meter runner. Yeah, so he, he has done it cross country before. Um, 
would have won titles though in the 800 and then kind of stepped down um, upon kind of realising that I think it was the European Juniors in 2019 where he was so locked and Mark Gunder got spaces and um, he decided there and then that he would switch down to the 400 and it's paid dividends it's worked out for him used to enjoy him running 800s as a juvenile he'd run a very slow first lap and then he'd unleash an amazing 400 metres mm. second lap to get himself Certainly back in contention speed. don't know whether he'd beat Darren Michael Hinney over 400 at the minute would he oh god I'm sure he'd be I'm sure he'd fancy his chances but after yesterday Dara I'd say would fancy his chances as well so while the athletes get ready we see Phil Healy signing a load of the event assistant basket girls t-shirts so that'll be one that won't want to get washed so back men's 400 metres Raftery is away very, very well here. Carthy on his inside is going well, and so is David Ryan. So Kieran Carthy is really blasted off there, as is David Ryan, but now Jack Raftery up on that top end. He will have the lead, but he won't have much of a lead, but he will cross in and in front. But Kieran Carthy's going off very, very fast as well. They're sub 22 seconds at 200 metres. So Jack Raftery, Kieran Carthy, and then David Ryan. Yes, yeah, so Raftery is really playing it now that this back straight. Carthy trying to hang on and ride it. Looks like a battle for Ryan, between Ryan and Kenny for the bronze. But Jack Raftery powering into this last hundred metres. He looks like he's going to be able to hold on. He's going down to hold the straight now. And Jack Raftery, it looks like the man for Castle Ross has done it. 46 39. He puts his hand to his head and says, Did I just run that? That must be a massive PB for Kieran Carthy as well. But that is an amazing run. I saw they went through 300 and about 33 point, and I knew this was going to be fast with 46 39. Wow. Fantastic. What we, a said performance. He, we said he'd be looking to run sub 46 75, get closer to the 46 50, but 46 37 has been rounded down to 47 49 for Kieran Carthy, and then third, David Ryan, 48.24. So that's a new championship record, beating the record by the one and only David Gillick. Who is who below us. 46 53 back in 2007. So it would be great if they could get David Gillick to present those medals. And that will move Raftery to fifth on the Irish indoor all time list ahead of the likes of Thomas Barr, Killian Green, Dara Kerbick, and of course David McCarthy. I'm just looking at him walking there. He's an absolute spent force. He looks as though he's limping slightly, but I think that's just pure tiredness. That is a fantastic run. So you can see Kieran Carthy well happy with that 47 second run. And why wouldn't he be? Yeah, Kieran Carthy 47 49. And David Ryan in third 48 24. So I think it helped Jack knowing that Kieran Carthy was right in his heels at 200 metres. It really was able to give him that push on because I thought it was going to be a solo run from start to finish. But Kieran Carthy mm-hmm. went out so hard in that first 150. And then Jack just on that top bend in the first lap began to just pull away and just had enough when they broke in. And then down that back straight he, he began to open up a, a, a significant lead. But 46-37, a fantastic run. So back to the there's Michael Bowler and then we move to the triple jump we see Jay Benson so he's our leader in the triple jump so Jay Benson from Lagan Valley AC so I'm not sure if he's hurt himself there or whether he's just waiting to see what the distance is on the scoreboard but he looks as though he's hurt And that does look painful. And he looks to be okay again. Fingers crossed. So there yeah, is Jack Raftery. So that'll do, that'll do scholarship uh, prospects in DCU even better now, yeah? Yeah, there's talks uh, 
There's talks that Chocolate might be moving in on campus next year. He's got to split his final year, so uh, he'll be around for a while yet at DCU. Yeah, I think he'll be calling Paul Byrne into the office tomorrow to renegotiate, will he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Expect your phone to ring, Paul. Now here we have him coming up that home straight. He's absolutely giving it everything. Look at the, look at the. He can't believe it himself, but he knew. I was chatting to him last week, and he said that he there is a really fast one in him. He was. He was happy with the 46.75 with the try track and field or the track and field live a couple of weeks ago, but you could tell that he knew he could go faster and there was something special in him, and I think he did it today. Yeah, definitely. He's got, like, a nice confidence to him as well, you know. He knows going out what he's capable of doing. He was quite happy with the 46.75, but knew there was more in him than today. He just proved what he could do. So, yeah, delighted for Jack. So he looks up to see, can he see Jeremy Lyons there, but he can't. But no doubt Jeremy will be down to greet him when he comes back out. So that's a, a double for Jeremy Lyons in the men's and women's 400 metre coach to Sophie and to Jack. Yeah, good day for Dublin Sprint. Coming up next on track in a little over 10 minutes time, we have our 60 metre finals. So men's pull vaults are 4 metres 45. So David Dunnigan from Clonliffe Harriers makes his walk down the run up track. So he'll be on his second attempt at 4.45. So David Dunnigan, he's been around for a long time, the Clonliffe Harriers athlete. Five mm -hmm. metres, I think his PB is. But hasn't won a major championship in a long time. The young pretenders have come through, but he's he's right in the mix today. Four meters forty-five. <laughs> and away he goes. It's actually his final attempt at four forty-five. No. So 4.35 his best. Just a quick update on the high jump there. Philippa Rogan is your leader. She's over at 176. Ava Rushford is, I believe, having her second attempt at that height. Oh, and she's over. She's over, yeah. That's over at 176 there for Ava Rushford, I believe. What was that at 176? Was it? Yeah, I believe 176. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 PB territory for her there. She absolutely clattered the bar on the way back down as well. She's plenty of height, clattered the bar, but it stayed on again. So great jump by Ava Rochford, the uh, junior athlete, only under 19 this year. Kira Canelli is out of the competition now, but will be your bronze medalist. 170. So that's good, today. good series of jumps by. Philippa Rogan so far clear first time at all the heights oh that pole was so close to staying on there Philip Rogan now preparing to go with the high jump again. This may be at 179, not exactly sure. So now it's Rola Salusa from Clanliffe Harriers next up for his first attempt at 4 metres 55.
There's clearance there at 179, I believe, for Philip Rogan. Even Rashford preparing to go at the same height. Rolling up to the bar and just clattering it there. We've got our two 60 meter finals and our two 800 meter finals before our four, two 4 by 200 meter relays. As Rolas Alusa attempts his first goal at 4 meters 55. So Rolos Alusa is away, second time failure four, at 179 for Ava Rochford. The first time clearance there for Rolos Alusa. Looked nice. pretty comfortable in that one as well, Rory. Yeah, he's delighted with that. Um, good job there by Rolos. Now it's Matthew, Matthew. Callan and Keenan's turn. Matthew Callan Keenan St. Lawrence O'Toole on his first attempt at 4 metres 55 PB of 475 just seeing the men's triple jump presentation bronze medal for Michael Head to DMP only 15 years of age and what a bright future that young man has he did the pole vault as well second to follow back to the photo and the gold medal Jerry Benson of Lagan Valley nice clearance there by Matthew Cameron Keenan in the pole vault so we'll go back over to the high jump now Ava Rashford of Nina her final attempt at 179 Ooh, and unfortunately not to be the national silver medal for Ava the national champion is Philip Rogan of C. Coonan Kira Kennelly and Kira Kennelly uh, takes bronze um, we're going to bring you some highlights from the 60 meter semi finals that took place earlier now.
in three, Sandy Kanani Pagan in four, Mayo Riley TST in five, John Daniel Beacon in six, Sarah Murray from that in So we are getting ready for this with its 60 meters final. This one is very, very, very hard to call. I'll get you the line up here now. In lane one, Caitlin McGuire and North Belfast Harriers. In lane two, Elizabeth in duty to drum South Dublin. Long jump champion from this morning. In lane three, you see my sleeve in Lee Vale AC. In lane four, Sarah Leahy, Killarney Valley AC. In lane five, Molly O'Reilly, Dundrum St. Dublin AC. In lane six, Joan Healy, Lee Vale. In lane seven, Sarah Murray, Murray for Galleons. And in lane eight, the under 23 national 60 metre champion, Katie Bergen of Moyne. Tough one to call, Fitton. So 7.36 the semis there for Joan Healy laid down the marker. So it be interesting to see how Lucy May Sleeman can do. She won her semi-final as well and then obviously Sarah Leahy will be well in contention but I think I'll go Joan Healy from Leahy from Sleeman. So we're in Joan Healy to an absolute flyer, as is Lucy Miss Lehman. And now it's going to be so, so close. Oh, I think, I think Sarah, Sarah Lee, Lee got, got that it. one. And she got it quite easily in the end, I think. 7.32. And that'll probably be rounded down as well. They all seem to be getting rounded down by 100 or 200 seconds. But Sarah Lee came, territory for her. came absolutely flying through in that last 30 metres. three medalists right but I wouldn't get any points with Elizabeth Egan I don't think there maybe for third in, the, in our competitions but that's a great <laughs> run there by Sarah Leahy yeah it was a very tough one to call but the last 30 metres very strong there we wait the live results to pop up so we see it here it was Joan Healy at that stage, but then Sarah Lee, he just came absolutely flying through in that last 20 metres or so. So probably took about a half a metre or so over Joan Healy and Lucy May Sleeman from Leeville in third. So the three medals going back to Munster. Indeed, two of them go back to Leeville. Here we can see it head on. Just looking back out there at the high jump, uh, Philip Rogan is back out on the runway. So she is the winner, but she's going at what, 182, I think? Good effort, but Philip Rogan will take the national senior indoor women's high jump. Just Ava Rochford in second. 730 for Sarah, Lee Sarah Leahy. A nice PB for Sarah Leahy, Joan Healy getting silver, 7.33, a season's best. And I believe a personal best is possibly a personal best for Lucy May's sleeve at 7.33. Yeah, I think, that, I think that's Lucy May's first time under 7.40, so 7.30, a fantastic run to take that. And it needed to be because Joan Healy, 7.33, was right there as well. So uh, Killarney Valley, Leavale and Leavale, one two three. And I see Joe Healy's uh, coaches that's walked past us there, uh, Dermot O'Rourke and Marion Heffernan. wonder what their reaction will be to that one. So there are three medalists making their way down to the podium. Sarah Leahy there being congratulated by President of the Athletic Sergeant John Cronin. And also being congratulated by Dermot O'Rourke there. He may be presenting the medals. So Dermot obviously coach to Joan. 
So John has settled for silver today, but that was a great final. It was uh, a great season for Sara Leahy. Um, she's made big improvements this year, so um, congratulations to her. And there is Dervil O'Rourke, well used to being on top of that podium today, presenting the medals. Very happy, giving it to Lucy May Sleeman in third. And Joan Healy then, also Leeville, second in 7.33. And then from Killarney Valley AC, the champion, Sarah Leahy. I'm going to go over to the pole vault then, where Michael Bowler is on the runway. So Michael Bowler now from Enniscorthy. Oh, that's a nice clearance. Nice clearance there for Michael at 465, I believe. It might, it might be higher. I can't, based on that reaction. Yeah, I think I think I heard 465 being called out there. That was a nice clearance, yeah. Here we see it again. So just slightly rattle the bar but never he's indulge. begging it to stay he's begging it to stay up but it does now back to Rola Salusa from Clan yeah. of Harriers he's had one failure at this height so second height second attempt Be for Rolas on that occasion. So we see over on the back straight now the men have come out for their 60 metres final. I had thought that this was going to be a really, really close 60 metres because Israel hasn't been firing on all cylinders, but he came out in that semi-final with a 6.64, I think it was, and absolutely laid down the marker. The other heats in 6.76 and 6.77, but the 6.64, you could tell he was so happy with that. So I, I, something special could happen here. If he gets off to a flyer here... We could, we could be seeing that 661 from Paul Hessian under track. He has done 662. He's been so close on so many times, so many 663, 662s. But if he can just get off to the flyer that he got off to that semi final and be pushed, Oliver Swinney on his outside only seems to get going at, when it's at 50 or 60 metres. But on the inside of him, if Gabriel Kahinda can be there with him and push him on, we could see something special. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing this now. Of course, Israel's championship record set here last year of 6.62. Um, I mean, he's the star. Of a, he's the star. The star of the sport at the moment um, in Ireland. Such a likable guy, and you know, it should be really good to see what he can do. Great Lynch Cup, of course, at stake this afternoon for the winner. So, mad to see. I can see Dara McElhenney and then below me here watching it. Uh, obviously, not because it's sprints, but because it's UCDAC. Mm -hmm. Emmett and Levy is coach also there. So they're all here to see what Israel can do here. And then it's been a great season for Bori Akinola as well from UCD. A lot more, I think, to come from him. Yeah, definitely. He was very impressive in the last summer running 10, 30 outdoors. So looking forward to seeing what he could do here as well. PB of 678. We'll see what he can run here this afternoon. So there he is. Thumbs was up to the camera. Well, to his family, I think. Here we're just watching down below us as well I believe Israel Alatunda coached by Daniel Philgallen great work being done back when he was with Dundalgan AC with Jerry McCardle 
and he went in that scholarship to UCD and Daniel Kilgallen has brought him to the next stage in this fantastic career so far and we still forget how young he is finally our student in UCD and then on his outside in lane 6 Oliver Swinney had qualified to go to the world under 20s in Cali last year and then at that national under 20 and under 23 championships pulled a muscle in that 100 metres and had to withdraw but he is a serious talent for the future over 100 and 200 I suspect so the future of sprinting in Ireland is never been brighter so we get ready Definitely. Leo Morgan in one from Clonliffe Harriers Stephen Gaffney Rathfarn and Macy in two Chris Sabanda Clonliffe Harriers three Gabriel Cahinda Ennis Track in four Israel Alatunda UCD AC in five Oliver Swinney Speed Development Project Track AC in six Bori Akinola UCD AC in seven and in lane A Colin Doyle from Leavale AC The hush was interrupted by Rolis. Alisa had the pole vault just failing on his third attempt there at 4.65. So that would be bronze for Rolis. They're caught to their marks. Watch the middle lanes and watch the clock. Who will be the Craig Lynch Cup winner in 2023? Sprinters of all their set routines. Nothing changes. They go through the same motions before every race. To the way and a good start by Israel Alatonda and it's going to be Israel Alatonda is going to absolutely storm away with this very very close in second Six look at the time 6.58 oh look at the look oh, at that wow. there was questions asked about him on his indoor season but Israel Alatonda and Daniel Kilgallen have answered any of those questions. The whole place is on their feet, Finton. He's down on the ground, but I think it's only tiredness. 6.58. Oh Let's see, does that get rounded down? We have a new national indoor record to add to his outdoor 100 metre record. Israel Alatonda. And his family, Finton, just down below us here. So we're looking down below. And we can see his parents still clapping we're hoping that that is just cramp or whatever it is down there but Israel that, Alatonda uh, that could just be the aftermath of letting everything simply everything out of his body after that he got off to a flyer and he just kept moving away from the rest of the field 6.57 it's rounded down four hundredths of a second of Paul Hessian's record from back in 2007 was so close in behind between Sabanda, Kahinda and Swinney. Yeah, I was going to say, does anyone <laughs> know who came second or third? I suspect they ran fast as well, but that is fantastic running. May only be 60 metres, but there's not much left in that tank. David O'Shea there for an entry helping him up as he holds the camera. So let's hope that, that I think the excitement and the celebration has done more to the injury than the actual race itself so he goes yes, over to his parents here his family his niece there I believe she hasn't a clue what's going on no but fantastic there from Israel Alatunda taking that men's 60 metres We'll get you the results as soon as we can. But what we do know and can confirm is that Israel Alatunde has broken his own championship record at Paul Hessian's national record. 6.57. Wow. So I'm going to try and see who are the other two medalists. I think Oliver Swinney may have got up for a medal. Here's the way he see this replay. He just absolutely moved away from the field. It looks as though it's maybe Gabriel Gahinda in second and maybe Chris Sabanda third. 
can get confirmation of that here now. But such and it is Oliver Swinney in 670 from Gabriel Kahinda in 672. So massive PBs for the first four there. Colin Doyle looks as though it's a PB as well. Bori Akinola, All eight under 685. So the top six, it looks like PBs. So, absolutely brilliant women and men 60 metres here. And we can see head on here, fantastic angle. You don't really get to see where they are and they come across the line, but you can see that was a, such a comprehensive win. Look at that for an excitement. He looked around, the first thing he looked at was the clock. This is where I think he picked up his injury as he goes over onto the track here. Good job <laughs> there was no one in his way. They were going to be knocked into tomorrow, <laughs> so they were. Adrenaline in that man. So we'll see him go down now. Oh, yeah. Just like he was shot there. So Michael back to Michael Bowler. Yeah. How, do you, how, how do you beat that, Michael, huh? <laughs> you can't, unfortunately, on this occasion. So I believe that might be a first-time failure for Michael at 4.75. Matthew Cotton McKeenan has also failed at the height. So, Rory, I'm away back down to the infield to do the stadium commentary for the two 800s. I'll leave you to uh, no do, the, do, do the two 800s and the 4 by 2 I'm so. sure you're glad you're up here, Fintan, to witness that magic moment. Oh, absolutely. That was just amazing, yeah. So, I'll see you after the event. I'm glad that Fintan can get his breath back now after that. That was quite incredible to get to watch it a privilege to be able to see it live
67 is the same part of the SMA for the Kid Rock Championship. Israel, 6.57. Can you just tell us what happened there? Uh, you know, I just came out here to this championship, just wanted to get my all. It's been a little bit of a rocky season, but me, me and my coach just keep, keep stayed focused and we knew like time will come. And, you know, championships are the best times to give rest performance. So I'm just really happy to do it in front of this crowd here in Abbott's time. It really means a lot to me. Did you see it coming today? Did you know you were in the shape of your life? Um, and we kind of just like forgot about like times. I just want to focus on getting to each round and for my best and getting the win. And I knew if I perform my best, you know, anything could happen. So. And how much does it mean to you to break the national record that Paul Heshen has had for so long? Oh, no, it means the world. You know, Paul Heshen, he's a class act. You know, hold the record in three events. He's just amazing. And to you know, follow in his footsteps and to push up the boundaries even more, it means a lot to me. And hopefully I can continue for the next few years and hopefully other guys will, will improve as well. So and Everything is okay. We saw your celebration and you were holding your calf at the end. Is everything good? Oh, no, everything's good. I just got to cramp a little bit. And I think I got, I got a bit too excited there, but I'm all good. I think the excitement is deserved. And finally, you're up to Istanbul now. Looking forward to it. Yeah, 100%. You know, I, love, I said I love championships and to come off like a national record to, and go into Istanbul, you know, I think I'm in good shape. So we'll see what happens. I think congratulations to Israel. National record holder, Craig Lynch Cup winner at your office, Dublin. Well done. Thank you. Great clearance there for Matthew Conlon Keenan in the pole vault. 475, I think. Back for one more race for the, the men's 800 metres. What do you think between this one? It looks as though it's going to be between Nadia Power and Estelle Donald. 
yeah, it's, um, it would be great to see Nadia get back to winning ways. Um, she's had a tough year, and um, but of course, Isolt has been going well as well this season, so it's going to be a good one. Susie O'Donnell from Rohini Shamrock, Nadia Parr from Dublin City Harriers, Susie Nestor, UCD AC, Maeve O'Neill from Doheny AC, still a junior athlete, Lucy Holmes, West Waterford, and then three under 18 athletes, Zoe Richards from West Farnham, Erin Levy from Dunleer AC, and Zoe Conway from Leeville. So Nadia Parr in lane five, and then Dublin up in lane three, we have Asilt O'Donnell and Susie Nestor. And then one of the bright hopes of under-20 athletics then as well, Maeve O'Neill from Dohny AC, in between them. So I expect Asilt O'Donnell to probably try and take this one on. I think she went out yesterday in the heats and ran pretty aggressively at the start. She did. Nadia also ran aggressively in the heat, uh, did the job. So we'll see what happens with this. So it is a Silto O'Donnell and Nadia Power, the two to take it on. And that's Susie Nestor at the very back. She'll try and make her way through now. This goes past Lucy Holmes from West Waterford, makes her way around just to try and cover any move. Erin Levy from Dunleer AC in third place. Susie Nesta four, Zoe Ritchie just on the inside from Rath Farnham. So they go through, it's 31, it's not too bad. But it's Isilt O'Donnell from Nadia Power. Looks like Nadia is going to sit and let Isilt do all the work here. And now Susie Nestor has put herself right on the back of the two of them. And they have to make two or three metres said for Lucy Holmes, West Watford. So it's not about 47, 48 through the first 300 metres. It's going to be a decent pace. Probably going to be about a 205. So Nadia Power on the outside, Asilt O'Donnell on the inside, Susie Nestor to just opened a little bit of a gap over Maeve O'Neill. And then we have Lucy Holmes from West Waterford, Zoe Ritchie, Aaron Levy, and then Zoe Conway. So down the back straight for the second last time. Now Nadia Power looks as though she's going to push it on here. She's going to move to the inside, then Asilt O'Donnell's going to have to go wide if she's going to do anything, but it's a big move here now, it looks like from Nadia Power. So she's taking it on but she hasn't opened up that much of a lead she's a couple of meters now over Asilt O'Donnell and then Susie Nestor a few meters back at 136 at the bell so they'll probably come home in a 31 or so probably a 207 the two of them are beginning to pull clear the two favorites pulling clear yeah Susie Nestor in third long way back to Maeve O'Neill in fourth but it looks like Nadia Power and Asilt O'Donnell is going to come down between them in the last 100 meters so Silt O'Donnell tried to make her move there with about 120 to go. Nadia Power, what a response, but does she have enough up the home straight? Asil O'Donnell is going to go again. Here comes Asil O'Donnell. Nadia Power's bought it up. It looks like Asil O'Donnell is going to take it. Silt O'Donnell took, takes that from Nadia Power. Susie Nesta, three, maybe Neil, four. And then Lucy Holmes. 7 0 7. So it looked as though Nadia Power had done enough there. She. She tried with about 120 to go, Asilt O'Donnell to take her on, and Nadia responded brilliantly and opened up that few metres. Brilliant that home straight. Fantastic by Asilt O'Donnell. Yeah, she really fought hard for it, battled it all the way to the line, and gets her just reward. The national 23 National Senior 800 metre champion for 2023. In 207.22, Susie Nestor third in 208.15. So there we have our three medalists getting ready. Maeve O'Neill then fourth, 209.31. In sixth, oh, 
only under 18 and Aaron Levy in 2 14 21 Just Matthew Callum and Keenan left to the pole vault. He's going to be your national champion, but he has put the bar up further. Perhaps could be his hideout as 490. He had cleared 480. He'd be in PB ter- territory anyway, where he to clear any further heights. He has a 480 PB. Set here last year. We we'll have the presentation there for the women's 800 meters. The medals will be presented by the Minister for Sport, Thomas Byrne. So it's third place from UCDAC, Susie Dexter. Silver medal for Nadia Power, back where she belongs on the national podium. Great to see Nadia back. Congratulations to her. And the national champion, a big cheer from the crowd for Isol Tonadal. Hades Chabrox and of course coached by Phelan Kelly. So, so I got in the field. So Matthew, have the Kayla back on the roadway. Kind of abandoned that. So we are on now to the men's 800. The lineup. Finn Woodger, Metro St. Bridget, Peter Kilgannon, Ratoth, Kevin De Bravo, Hermine, Jake Bagg, Furry Bank, Roland Surlis, Anna Lee, Mark English, Finn Valley, Robert Houston, Robert Houston Kildare, and Nathan Sheehy Kremen, Emerald. English. The firm, firm favourite. You can see him there on camera. <laughs> European medalist of the 800 metres last summer. Munich. So they're underway. And we'll see who takes this on. It doesn't look like anyone wants to take it on at the minute. So it's Roland Serlis, Lee. 
Mark English, Ted Water, also there, Matthew St. Bridget. So they go through the first 230 seconds. So very pedestrian for these gents. So it's Robert Hewison of Kildare IC, Mark English, and now Jake Bag from Furry Bag looks to make his move. The Estonian national record holder, coached by Joe Ryan, of Dan studying at UL. So it's Jake Bag, Robert Hewson, Nathan Sheen and Krabby just moving out on the, up on the outside. But Mark English sitting in third. <laughs> so it's English in third. Houston second, Jake Bag leading them out. Nathan Sheedy Kremen in fourth and Roland Sirlis in fifth. 300 to go. And Bag from Houston and English. And now English starts to move into a more prominent position and takes the lead at the bell. Roland Sirlis moves his way up to third. Jake Bag still in second. Houston fourth, Kremen fifth. So down this back straight and it's English that leads. And look at Roland Sirlis trying to get his way back up there. But well, can he? Can English hang on? English kicks as he goes around the bend and heads into the home straight for the final time. And he's looking around. It looks like he knows he has the title. And indeed he does. It's yet another title for the Donegal man. English with his ninth national senior indoor title. In 152.48. If Sirlis could have got it for a second, but we'll just have to confirm that there. But yet another title, his ninth national senior indoor title. Yeah, Roland Sirlis there in second, 153.21, and Jake Byrne third, one. Jake Pag wins a well-earned bronze medal, 153.77. Matthew Cadden and Keenan back on the runway now. There's the crowd behind him. Uh, no, that's not going to be for Matthew. Final action on the track is going to be a 4x200 meter relays. Those relays underway in 48 minutes' time. So we're going to have the presentation now for the men's 800 metres. Presentation will once again be made by Minister for Sport, Thomas Byrne. And Eamon Cochran. So in third place, Jake Bag from Furry Bag, Custodian national record holder. Silver for Roland Service, Roland Service of uh, Adelie. And the champion from And once again, Mark English is your national senior champion.
It's just the women's and men's 4 by 200 meter relays to come. Plenty to look forward to though. They'll be going up in about 10 minutes time.
Lee Vale breaking the national club record earlier this year in 140-23 we'll see them still on the right looks like it's going to be a very good start there from DSD on the inside so DSD in the lead. Claude Leff and Rahini. But DSD with a big, big lead. Win a 30 meter league lead from Clonliffe in second, Rahidi in third, and Luke and Harriers in fourth. So we head to the final battle change this time. And Molly O'Reilly will take the battle for the drum save Dublin. The save change over is there for Clonliffe and Rahidi Shamrox as well. The massive, massive lead here for Dungeon of South Dublin. Watch the clock, of course, these races will be run off times. So into the home straight. And it is the Drum State Dublin. We're going to come to Stone Strongly in 139 87. And that is a national club record for Dundrum South Dublin. So the national records don't stop today. And a championship record for DSD as well. So, Molly Hammerhead, Charlotte Burke, Cara Murphy, and Molly O'Reilly of DSD. It's a fantastic performance from the DSD team there. National club record.
Goes from that heat there to drove South Dublin, 139.86, national club record. Second for Claude Left Harriers, 143.81, and third for Rahini Shamrocks, 145.27. Second heat to come. And of course, it's all dead to the clock. We're going to have a presentation before that, though, in just a second. They were making their way over to the podium. They've gone back now. With the beds wait for distance. presentation here now for the men's wait for distance. Third place for Stephen Fee of Lusk got nice to put a best of 5 out of 5. Second for Barry Healy, he all in C's, 732. And the national champion is Michael Healy, and he will in the best throw of 869. <laughs> the second of these 4x200 meter relays. And then four to Luke St. Dublin and then five dollars to the Harriers and then six to the Kalos. start for Galway City Harriers. We're chasing down GSD's championship record. Second GSD team in action here. It's a big, big lead here for Galway City Harriers. Must be around 25, 30 meters. GSD in second and Lakeda in third. So still, Galway City Harriers with a good, strong, comfortable lead over Dundrum St. Dublin. And Lakeda in third. Eating up the ground of the DSD athletes there. But as we head to the final changeover, it's still Galway City Harriers and keep an eye on the clock. Final changeover. Looks like they won't be under TSD's time of 139.86, which is a national record. But for a silver medal, they need to be under 143.81 of Clonliffe. So, well, watch the clock as they head into this home street. Very, very close. 
But they will cross the line in the World Sport so they're going to be the national silver medalists. To be thrown and finishing strongly there for Michaela and to Drumstick Dublin in third. So your medalist will be Dutch George Safe Dublin A, who of course broke that national club record, 1986. Second for Galway City Harriers, 142.79, and bronze to Clonliffe, Just getting set here now for the penultimate race of the World Three Donaghy National Senior Indoors this year. So many standout performances. I think we might have seen three championship records. I've lost count of how many we've seen today. This is one of those days. Um, but when I did the standout performance at the weekend, uh, Israel on a ton day. At 6.57 we saw earlier. I've never seen quite the reaction. Um, like it but from Israel and of course the crowd who just absolutely loved it we were on our feet here um, what a fantastic performance by Israel so we're going to have two races in this event 4 by 200 metres that's some big names in the fray here They are 400 metre silver medalist from just a couple of hours ago. Kieran Carthy back down there for DSD. Also, our national 200 metre champion and new championship record holder Mark Smith is down there. National club record and your championship record is 127.51 set last year. 
da GC Rate. Look at Ari would go quicker today. So in lane two for this one, we have Limerick AC, in lane three, Lakeyla AC, in lane four, to Drill South Dublin, in lane five, Lakeyla AC, and in lane six, the Shamrocks. start from the belt. I won't really know until Sagar on Wides. And about it gets into Karen Clark. He's had fresh from his silver medal earlier on. Hit the 400 meters. So what does he have on his legs? The answer seems to be a lot. They cut in. Leave out in second. Rahini third. And it's DSC in the lead. Leave out second. And now look, Mark Smith, the national champion over 200 metres, takes the battle. How much ground can Mark make up? But then this back's great. It is DSC just holding off Leave out. And Rahini in third. Mark Smith has made serious ground in that leg and he'll nearly get Rahini up to the front. So high change over just a bit of carnage there from Disney Bale in the lead. From GSD and Rahini in third for the final leg here. Really powerful performance from the Lee Bell team here. But will they stop the clock at? Looks like it could be so good, 30. It will be sub 130, it'll be 129.83. DSD in second, Rahini Shamrock's third, Michaela fourth, and Limerick in fifth. Second heat coming up in just a couple of minutes' time.
So the final race of the day. Sierra National 60 meter hurdles champion day. They're about to be in of Crusaders. They go in this one. The line up as follows. The drove safe Dublin B in lane three, Crusaders in four, Lena Olympic in five, and Clonliff Harriers in six. Marcus Slaughter leading Clonliff Harriers out. Tokyo 2020. Very strong strategy for Marcus Slaughter. Jack Hickey leading the Lena Olympic team and Valentinus Galoris for Saders. But it is Clonliffe with the lead. Or Cassid on the second leg for Lina and Maddie Bean running the second leg for Crusaders. With a big lead for Clonliffe Harriers. About 15 20 metres from Lina Olympic. Crusaders in third. As Aaron Tierney Smith takes the baton for Clonliffe. Lina second, Clonliffe third. Sorry, Crusaders third. Clonliffe, of course, with that big lead. Aaron Tierney Smith really putting down the boot. Pascal Sebastian Chuche will get the baton for Clonliffe. And of course, watch the clock. Time to beat. It's 129 82 late down by Lee in the first heat. Nina here in second and Crusaders in third. So keep an eye on the time. It's going to be under 130. It's going to be 127 50. And that is going to be a national club record for Clonnet Harriers. We will get that confirmed. But it's going to be a championship record and a national club record if confirmed. We await confirmation of that. Of course, that record broken last year. By Galway City Harriers. And it's been rounded out to 127.49, so it's going to be a national club record and a championship record for Clonliffe Harriers. It's bronze for, sorry, silver overall for an email, 129.82. And Dundrum, South Dublin, take the bronze from Nina Olympic. And that is just about that for what has been a fantastic two days of athletics here. The 1 2 3 National Indoor Senior Indoor Championships, the Sport Ireland National Indoor Arena in Abbottstown. Thanks, of course, to our sponsors, 123.ie, Athletics Ireland, and of course the team in marketing and comms downstairs, Mary Hoddy and Dara. Um, for all your results, you can visit the Atlantic Ireland socials and, of course, live at Atlantic Ireland. You can get Atlantic Ireland on social media at Irish Atlantic on Twitter, at Atlantic Ireland official on Instagram, and Atlantic Ireland on Facebook. They've been posting results and interviews throughout today. And, of course, thanks to the team at Entry, the four strong team, team at Entry, for getting us through the last few days and providing the coverage um, into your TVs and onto your phones. Um, so we will be back very soon again in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for more live stream announcements. Here we go.
finish line seemed so far away. Until it wasn't. Remember when there were runners all around you. And then there weren't. Remember just when you thought you couldn't go any faster. And then you did. 123.ie is a proud sponsor of Athletics Ireland. Because Irish athletes always try for better. And they always bring us moments to remember.